So, tell me, do you know any good recipes for bat? Welcome back to the Sunless Sea. Well, here we are again where we left off. We are at Station 3, and Depot A of Station B 3 to be precise. And we are in pretty good shape apart from Terra, which we're, our, our crew ourselves are pretty terrified. So I think it's time for us to head back to London. And in order to do it in as safe a way as possible, we're going to head down to Thornwell Croft. And then we're going to head along the islands and then through the boys back to London. That way we're going to be as little terrified as possible. So let's make a start, shall we? Ooh, crabby goodness. Let's see if we can run past them. One thing we are I am worried about here is we are getting very low on fuel. But, uh, hopefully that won't be too big a problem because we have plenty of supplies which we can use as fuel. Alright, Thornwell Croft. Here we are. The terror of the Z is less here. It doesn't appear that there's an, a, a, a mooring point there of any description. So let's uh, just head south a bit down to the Shepherd Isles and see what they look like. Ooh, littler crabs. No, it doesn't appear to be anything there either oh no there we go there's a dock it's just about to ram there because I wasn't turning fast enough that could have been painful that was painful a questing tentacle gleaming it rises from the Z it coils lazily around a Zayla who does not speak or cry out she only steps into its embrace and is gone. We've lost one crew. We took a point of damage there as well by ramming the rocks. But look, a new dock. That's good. Well, this became a bit of a mess. Okay, what happened shortly after um, we left Shepherd Isles, um, which I'd recorded and all that. We had a power cut. And when I got power back, reloaded this up, um, loaded up the autosave, it appears that things got a little bit messed up. It's given me the Shepherd Isles dock here, but um, it's basically the story has carried on moving. I have no idea what happened. I'm presuming some sort of autosave mess up, but um, effectively we're at, back at Shepherd Isles, but with the state we were after we left Shepherd Isles, and well, I'm just going to have to carry on as it is. We'll just assume that never happened. Um, the only problem is, of course, that we have a bit more terror and a lot less fuel, so let's deal with that, move on, get on with the story, and hopefully have some fun. Desperate measures. Right, we have super two bits and pieces. So we're running out of fuel. We've got not nearly enough to get back to London. Um, so we're going to have to do something about that. Now, there's three things we can do here. We can turn one of our supplies into a, um, some fuel. Well, two of our supplies into fuel. We can just give up. Or we can look at our last few supplies, one of our supplies, and see if we can get some fuel out of that. Might work, might not. Seeing as we've got 16 fuel, let's search for our supplies for something of use. Alright, so we've lost two supplies, but we gained one fuel. Still not enough to do it, get us back, but at least it's better than it was. Uh, let's have a quick look in the shops. Right, they sell supplies and they sell fuel. Uh, the fuel is very expensive, but to be totally honest with you, I think we're going to adventure a little bit of money on those. So, one, two... We're up to three fuel now, which is a bit better. A bit worried about the 100% um, Terra, but uh, I'm kind of hoping we'll be able to survive without the, with that. So, okay, back to 
the Shepherd Isles. Now this is going to help. Let's have a picnic at the Standing Stones, which hopefully will reduce some terror. Your Zaylas watch the fireflies shimmer, swap shanties, pass around the grog and shy stones at more vampirically in inclined Z-bats. Grasses nod in the breeze. Across the water, the lights of Abbey Rock glow watchfully. Your bosun hands you something. Found a rock, he reports laconically. Pretty sure it's dead. So, we've gained an ambiguous airlift, which thanks to the crash, we've now got two of. We've lost three Terra, which is going to get a little bit closer to home, and we've lost five Echo, so that's a little bit better. Let's see what else we can do. Um, it would appear nothing. Let's go, shall we? Um, yeah, let's actually... Let's just chuck one more fuel in. That's us out of money, but uh, at least that's going to get us slightly closer to home. What the heck? Oh, okay. This is a little bit more of a mess than I thought it was. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the dock. We're going to turn around. <laughs> And we're going to come back to the dock. For it appears that we have magically teleported ourselves to London. Not that I'm complaining, because quite frankly, I don't think we're going to get back the normal way. Hmm, alright. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Right. Let's get back into dock before something else happens. There! We're back! Huh. Okay, what I want you to do, okay, is close your eyes real tight and just imagine the journey, okay? We went past many fascinating islands and saw wonders and tentacles and more tentacles. We lunched on bat. In fact, we lunched on bats. But here we are. We're back in town. So, let's do some things. Um, oh, I noticed we don't have the Harbour Master thing, and we haven't lost any terror. This is a little broken, isn't it? Alright, um, let's see what we can do here. Let's go into our lodgings. Read the morning papers. The Carnate is threatening war. They always are. London's colonies on the Carnadian coast want independence. They always do. The Antazi, the paper's report, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't, you'd know. Ooh, a promotional coupon from Mrs. Plenty's Provisioners for half a cask of salt herring. You could use that. Right, we've gained one supplies, the salt herring. Hey, it's going to make a change from bat, isn't it? We've lost one Terra, and we now have this recent news. Okay. What else can we do? At the moment... Nothing. We don't have enough to write the Zong of the Z. We can't retire. And... We don't have enough heirlooms. And we can't adorn our lodgings. We can't write a will. Uh, it's not even giving us the option to upgrade our lodgings. So let's go back into the city. This is very broken. Alright, okay. Let's buy some tomb colonists, they're always useful. Um, we don't need any crew, we don't have any recruits. We're not damaged enough to worry about the dry dock. We don't have enough money for the wolf stack docks, but we can visit the university, so let's do that. Okay, so we gained a page. We got now an antiquarian, and we lost a secret. But we do actually have access to the Alarming Scholar again now, which is great. Right, a strange cache. Uh, no. Okay, let's, let's, let's run these through him and see what we get. A strange cache, pickled into quiescence. The Scholar circles your specimen jar, tapping at the glass with a variety of tools. A screwdriver, magnet, scrutinizer, tuning fork, lensing knife, and a sort of slotted spoon. This will keep them going for weeks, sir. she, he, says, half to himself. We'll dine at the high table tonight, I think. 
Right, so we gained 10 echo. We've um, lost one strange catch. Let's give them an ambiguous airlift. Ooh, I see the nap marks clearly. I rather think it, that it was no human hand that shaped this either. Something from before. Or at least, I like to think it. That's what's most important. Ooh, 70 echo for that. Very nice. Our antiquarian has increased to two. I'm not entirely certain what that means, but it can't be bad. Um, Alarmy Scholar again. We can give him another ambiguous Eolith, or we can keep that for now. I think we'll keep that for now. But let's give them an outlandish artifact. We have something like that. She, he declares, but not very like that. Interesting. Have some ideas about suitable fees. 100 Echo. Very nice. We're back in the money again. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to give them the Aelith right now, so we'll leave the university and we'll go to the Admiralty instead. Alright, let's submit some port reports. Okay, we have one from Hunter's Keep. Which gives us 5 Echo. We have one from Vendabite, which gives us 10 Echo. I'll <laughs> submit his fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, given some stories there, I think we'll submit his unsubstantiated hearsay. Mm. As friendly scoffing. I agree, it does seem implausible. So many of the stories from the place do. Still, there is little gold in truth, and uh, in, uh, there is little gold of truth in the mud of rumour. From time to time, your payment, Captain. I seem to have lost the ability to read. Okay, we've gained a new accomplishment. Surveyed Shepherd Isles. And we've gained 10 Echo and one point of Admiralty's favour, which is great. Station 3. Excuse me, just let me call my colleague in omitted. This is my colleague, Dr. Villain of the Ministry of Public Decency. Mr. Villain, the good captain's report is here, if you'd care to. Yes, the fire is already lit. Let us, here we go. Now, only ashes remain, and it might have caused a lot of trouble. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here is your payment. You need not trouble yourself further in this affair. So we've gained a new accomplishment. We've gained one Admiralty's favour, and we uh, have gained a hundred Echo. This has turned out to be a profitable little trip. Hmm. Right, speak to the Dark Specter Admiral, inspect a bit port reports, we've done that, that's what he needs, we don't really need to do that just yet. Nope, nothing more to do there. Anything else to do in London? It would not appear so. So let's pop back to our lodgings. Can't get a night's rest which is something I could really use. I think what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to launch again and um, see if we can sort out there. I'm going to take a desperate run here. What I'm going to do is... Oh, what do we do? What do we have enough? Right, we have four points of terror, which is not enough to get us to Vendorite. We, But we, I think we need to get further away from London. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so what I think we're going to do here is we're just going to run out to Hunter's Keep and we're going to come back again and hopefully that will reset things. Oh, I should have bought some fuel. Too late now, never mind. Right, let's just have a quick look at what we want to do here. Now, if these are, as I think, lights, we'll jump between the two of them and then go to Hunter's Keep. Mm. Well, this one's been annoying, and no mistake. Uh, I'd hate to lose the game now, because we, to be honest with you, that, that last run was so profitable. So good. Right, okay, change change the plans. We're gonna go east here. We're not getting any terror now. 
because we're in the light and we can have a little bit of terrifying here and it looks like a crab up there behind. Right, let's deal with this quickly and move on. Continue. Right. Four people get two up in arms. Please do remember that this is a beta game effectively. It's going to be bugs. There is always going to be bugs. In fact, talking as a programmer, quite honestly, you're going to have programs that have been out there for decades that are still going to have bugs. So let's not blame it too much. Um, butcher it for supplies. Let's dissect it, see what we can get. We've got a fragment out of it. Right, let's move on before we get too terrified. That's good. So there we go. And what we'll do is we'll just run up the coast here. Hopefully picking up as little terror as possible. Yeah, we're alright so far. And we'll just dock. And then we'll come back to London and hopefully that will reset things. We'll lose some terror. And we can carry on. Oh dear. Alright, we've lost a crew member. This is getting stressful, isn't it? Coming into dock. Turn the engines off real quickly because it increases our turning circle. And in we go. Okay. Let's see if there's anything we can do in Hunter's Keep while we're here. We can have lunch. We can't give them news yet. Uh, but we can reconnoiter the island. Let's do that to get a port report. And let's have lunch with Cynthia, because we haven't done that one with this character yet. Okay. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. Hmm, yummy. It seems that you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net blood on scented water another chop cynthia asks you've barely touched your food here i'll have the maid wrap something up for you so we gained one supply so that's a large chop we can equated we've lost 36 hunger we've gained one terror but we have a tale of terror that's all for now right that's us done with this island let us cast off and head back to London and hopefully good lord hopefully we won't lose too much more crew Terra 97 but at least it's not going up here our only hope now really is to oh do I want that ship I have enough crew. Yes, I want that ship. I'm being greedy here, I know, but I want that ship. Oh, don't go away from this. Oh, come on. My goodness. Right, let's fight him. Okay, two of those, one of those, one of those. Let's see how we get on with that. Not too worried about wild shots. Yeah, we're not going to get 100 out of the second one, are we? But we can do that. And every time they do a wild shot, they're effectively giving us a great chance. This should finish them off. That's going to happen too late. There we go. Okay. We can loot and scuttle her, or we can send her home with a prize crew. I think, you know, we'll, we'll try that again. We were unlucky. Never mind. Now, we've lost two crew, but quite frankly, I think they were getting sick of bat anyway. So, let's head back to port, and let's hope it works again now. 
because otherwise we've lost our best way of reducing terror. Which is going to be a bit of a problem. In fact, that sort of problem is probably going to force us to start the game again, which would be very unfortunate. Right, back to old London Town. Low on fuel again. Oh, let's let's dig into the supplies and get some more fuel. There we go. It's not like we're lacking in bat, is it? And if we can just make it to London, and if we can just get this organised, we've got a lot of money, <sighs> and I think we we're, we're going to have a chance to uh, move this story on a little bit. Okay, the air trembles, a breath of change passes. Please let this work. It worked! Yeah! As soon as the gangplank touches the quayside, the terrors of the deep Z lighten. Walk taller, smile more readily, but what dreams may cling. Okay, so we've gained two nightmare strength, that's a real problem. Let's go and see what the her terror me uh, the the the, the, the Try it again with my teeth in. Let's go and collect some messages from the harbour master. Somebody wants to sign on. Nice. Let's have a look at that first. See what new recruits we have. So we have the tireless mechanic. We have the Carnalian exile. And the Carnelian Exile is a first officer will increase mirrors and pages. Uh, we already have a first officer that increases mirrors and fails. And quite frankly, while we could use pages, I don't really feel the need to give him up. This guy is a mechanic who will unlock veils and fuel efficiency chief engineer yeah he's going to be a chief engineer isn't he and we already have a chief engineer that's disappointing but we'll look again next time perhaps not okay I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this a day now and tomorrow 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 next time next time um next time i'm going to do a few runs to vendabyte do the same sort of thing show you the highlights and then we'll go and advance the story a little bit and i think that's going to be the uh the format from now on i'll do um five ten minutes of grind just showing you the highlights and then we'll do 20 minutes or so of the actual story so hopefully that won't be too boring for everyone. I do apologise about this rather crazy, messed up episode. Um, blame the National Grid if you want to blame anyone. Um, but I hope you didn't, it didn't disappoint you too much. But anyway, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been Sunless Sea. Thank you and good night.